Okay, so now we have uh, performed the pipetting of our samples uh, and prepared the PCR2. Uh, so now we are uh, preparing or going to run the PCR2 program on the PCR machines. This is very similar to the last time we did this, but just take a short recap. We turn on the machine, we get a color on the light, uh, light here. We hear that it kind of starts up and making some sounds. While we are doing this, I will write my name in this book here and the date and which cycler I use. And then we have the loading screen here again. And now it's just kind of checking the file system and so on. It's nothing to worry about. So there are some slight differences between PCR1 and PCR2. The biggest difference is that right now in the prepared PCR tubes, we have a higher concentration of DNA because we have already run one PCR. So therefore we don't need as many cycles. The cycles we are running now is just to attach the index primers and increase the amount of them in the tubes. Okay, so yeah, so the cycles is normally different. Sometimes also the annealing temperature, elongation temperatures and so on is also slightly different. But this is something you have to look up when it comes to which kind of index primers you use and also uh, the primers you used in the first PCR and so on. So this is... Okay. So I have logged into my user uh, and here I can select different users since I'm logged into my own uh, user. I need to click on that user there with enter button. And then I see that I have different folders. I can go into the 16S. 16S is for the bacteria and enter it. Okay, here I didn't have the right program, but I have another folder with PCR2. And here I have PCR2 uh, for 16S. And then I can go to edit. And the reason why I go to edit is just to double check if all the settings are correct. And here I compare with the protocol I'm using for the given primers. And this one I know is correct. We have 12 cycles. Uh, and then I just exit. Open the cap here. And the samples here the tubes close it and then I press the start button and it says loading then you select OK for selecting tubes and then it starts running and since it's only 12 cycles this only lasts for 20 minutes, but while it's running, you can start to prepare the gel for looking at the products from the second PCR, or you can do the calculations for the cleaning procedure if you prefer that. But it's always smart to do something in between because then the whole process is way more streamlined. Or you can do the postdoc or PhD way, which is taking a coffee and waiting for things to happen.